service at your service. Good morning. We are currently on the way to Atlanta. I've got to take a trip this weekend. By himself. By myself. Margaret will not be joining us. Yeah, it's not for pleasure. It is for a business trip. I won't tell you what it's for just yet. Right now we're gonna stage it as I'm going to Texas to test drive my dream car because that is partially true. I've always wanted to drive this one car, actually own one, but haven't been able to afford it. So while I'm out there, I rented that car for a very reasonable price. Like one of the cheapest prices on the lot. One so of the cheapest prices on the lot. Yep. So um, we're gonna stage that at until later this evening. Margaret is very nice in taking me to the airport before work, so very nice of her. That'll do a couple of things. One, it helps me not leave my car in the parking lot for the whole weekend. So not have to pay parking, which is good. Not have to leave my car, which is good. And how much better does it get than your own personal Uber service? You know I could probably kiss him at the airport. Yeah. Throw all that PDA out there for It's gonna be a quick trip. I'm flying out today, flying back Sunday morning at eight, and my Uber service will come back to pick me up. By the time this video is posted, it's probably too late, but if there are fun things to do in Austin, Texas, you should leave a comment down below. <laughs> That's just so dumb. <laughs> if you were doing a daily Instagram story, then you can post that. But if you're not gonna post it on your daily Instagram story, what does it matter what you can do in Austin when you've been home for two weeks and are not going back to Austin? <laughs> well, I guess I'll post on Instagram here shortly. I tried not to do that just so people don't know that I'm gone. But they're going to know you're gone. Why? I mean, Saturday morning is going to come around and nobody's going to be up and active at 6.30 in the morning. I'm going to be like... Bed, until TV noon. Function. Until I noon. Mean, they're gonna know something's up. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't normal house activity on a Saturday morning. Yeah, because usually I get up about 5:30 every morning and I work and do stuff around the house. We pray for a safe trip, a good work weekend, and um, let's hope security goes smoothly. Because uh, nothing like flying with COVID. This is also my first flight since COVID happened, so. Um, it's going to be interesting for sure. I guess this is the thing with travel in a pandemic. You gotta drink real quick and put your mask back on. Currently sitting in my terminal, waiting for my flight. We are actually here about two hours early than when the flight's supposed to take off. Part of the reason is Margaret decided to take me to the airport, which is good for a number of reasons. One, so I get to see her before I leave. Two, so I didn't have to drive myself and park my car in the parking lot for three days and pay the fees every day. Also, the car didn't have to sit there for three days, especially since we live pretty close to this airport. But it's, it was nice um, that she decided to get up early and take me before work. I'm actually heading to Austin, Texas for a work trip. It's a project that I'm working and I probably will not tell you what it is until we get there. It's my first time flying since the last trip to New York. So it's a little different, you know, everybody's mask up. You have to leave room in between people. The airport sure is a lot less crowded than before, possibly because I'm flying on a Friday. I don't know, but a lot less crowded. TS was also a lot faster. I did have to go through TSA twice because I put some of my electronic in my suitcase carry-on and they didn't like that. So I had to go through again. You would have think that by 
now we could have the technology to look through that but I guess not of course we have some Dunkin Donuts it's not sponsored um, I would love it if Dunkin would sponsor me because I love their coffee I do run on Dunkin Milan in Austin take a rental car my supposed to be dream car and we'll see how that goes uh, drive to Georgetown Texas where my work is supposed to be and um, I hope that the weather stays nice so for right now I think I'm just gonna work on my laptop edit a video work on my phone for a little while and um, hopefully two hours will come and go see you guys in Texas made it out to Austin, Texas. This is the airport. We just walked out and we're trying to go find our shuttle. See about this rental car, this supposed to be a dream car. See if it's true or not. A little early, so we're gonna see. Finally get rid of that. First time renting a car here, or actually first time renting a car anywhere. First time in Texas. So it's hot, it's humid which is good and I hope it stays this way a little cloudy out stay this way for tomorrow big important day tomorrow What a disappointment because I did not get my dream car. I was really excited about this. I actually was willing to pay more to get to drive a Jeep SUV. However, when I got there, the lady was like, we don't have a Jeep. The best thing we got is a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> this, how funny is it? This is like a typical Asian car, right? A, a Toyota Corolla. And I had, this, I had this great idea of finding a rooftop around here you know, and, and shoot a, a um, cinematic sequence of it. <laughs> and I was really excited, especially when I found online. So yeah, pretty, pretty disappointed about this whole decision. I did not have anything to eat since breakfast this morning. Um, I was gonna get some food before the, plot, the flight, but then they started boarding before we had a chance to. So I'm here trying, what is this called? Hat Creek. Hamburger, supposed to be rated pretty good online, so I decided to give it a try. And after this, we will see. first that hamburger was average uh, I got rated a four star out of five but really was average a lot of grease and the hamburger was a little dry so I don't know that's worth 10 bucks and if you have had better experience uh, just leave a comment down below and let me know because that was not very good the fries was mediocre too uh, when I saw the image online it was like just thick cut fries looks like Arby's or Checkers but this was not it, it was thin cut fries. However, I have been told that there are some good barbecue places around here and I'm looking forward to that. There's been a few things I learned about Texas so far. 
one. You can drive a lot faster in Texas. You can actually go 80 miles per hour instead of 70. Two, it's hot and humid. Maybe because it's rainy, but it's about to rain here. And three, um, I haven't figured that out yet. It's the time to tell you what I'm here to do. I hope you enjoyed the drone shots of downtown Georgetown. It's a cute little town, I have to say, it's cute. Still disappointed that I got that mom's car and said, but gee, very disappointed about that. to Texas. Finally made it to my hotel room. This is a Hampton Inn Suites. I mostly unpacked. Since I ate lunch a little late, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I go eat dinner. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I haven't quite decided yet. This barbecue is really good. I heard there's an Asian restaurant that's kind of good. I heard of an Italian restaurant that's kind of good. So, got to decide. That's a hard problem because I always have problems deciding what to eat. But, I will not be taking you guys with me to the restaurant since I'm eating by myself and if I take a camera with me, it just seems a little strange. At the end of the day, I'm a little disappointed that I came all the way out here for to test drive a car and that didn't happen. I guess you have to wait to the next episode for me to tell you why I'm here in Texas. And it's a pretty good reason, so tune in for the next video. For now, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna come back, take a shower and relax. Busy day tomorrow. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Share the video with your friends if you want to. And I hope you tune in for the next video. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Bye.